Okay guys, good evening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capellan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to show you one uh, routine that I just added to my uh, video tutorial for computer programming for a BMS engineer. Now guys, uh, let me run this application. Okay. Now actually, uh, new share. I will click the new share, then share this one. Okay. Now, guys, this is my uh, running application for this programming tutorial. Okay. Now, guys, actually, what happened is one of the uh, viewers or one of the guys who are watching this tutorial, he gave me some, uh, like, uh, he requested something that he told me that there should be a computer lag in history and computer lag out history, okay? Now, actually, this is a good idea wherein you can trace what are the computers used and what time these computers are logged in and logged out and how much money had been collected for this uh, specific computer, okay? So this is a very good uh, routine for this uh, Micronet, my Micronet Cafe, uh, simple, uh, application for uh, computer usage monitoring system. So as I said, there will be a new routine here just to monitor or just to record the history of plug-in computer and logout computer. Okay. So let me give you an uh, a demonstration for this one. So as you can see now, I've logged in my computer number one, then 23, that is 8. 03 in the evening, okay? Then computer login history, I have here computer one, login time 23, okay? Because that is computer number one, right? So maybe I can wait for one minute. I will try to log in also, the other one, okay? So all the login computers will be recorded in this list box. Actually, this is just a simple uh, control in Visual Basic which is list box, okay? So you are just, we are just going to populate the list box with all the computers that is logged in, okay? So just a couple of seconds. Now it's already 59, okay? Now let's say I will log in another computer here, okay? As you can see here, computer to log in 2014, okay? Now maybe the next user will try to select another computer, okay, maybe another uh, enter the shop, then he sit in computer number four, okay, so computer number four login, 24, okay, so maybe another user get uh, or went inside the cafe and sit on number uh, computer number five, okay, so as you can see here, is being recorded in this list box, okay? So I will just, I just want to show you how it is being populated, okay? Once you are logging in a computer, okay? Now here, let's say uh, this one is already, uh, the amount to pay is 25 centavos. Let's say we will just log it out. So I will log out, okay? So, uh, computer number one, usage is two minutes, amount of pay is 50 centavos. Okay. Then let's say paid. Okay. Then again, that lag PC is available. So we can still lag it in. I mean, we can lag it in and let's lag in also this one. Okay. Now for the lag out, once you lag out, it will be recorded also in this list box. Computer one, log out time 25, amount to be collected or collected is 50 centavos, okay? So this is a very good way of, uh, that it's like a log, wherein you can check what are the computers, you can scrutinize the record, okay? Then let's try to log out this, uh, this one. Okay, then I say he paid. Now, we have also here accumulation here. Then let me log out this one also. Then he paid. 
Okay, all the computers being log out is recorded also here. Okay, likewise, I can log it this one in, then another log in. Now, when it is, uh, 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 there are more items added to the list, then it will automatically will have this uh, like spinner, okay? Okay, then let's see, I will log out this, uh, which one, this one, I will log out this one, okay, then I will log out this one also, okay, okay, then this one, I will log out also, okay, okay, now let me log in again, so we can see the list box is being populated, okay. So, from the first computer to the last login computer is being recorded in our list box, okay? Then, the same thing should happen in our logout history. So, let me log out this one, okay? Pay another one, okay? As you can see, pay, okay? So, this is requested by a student who is doing also the same uh, simple application. Uh, computer login history and computer logout history. This is just a log of what is happening of, or what happened to the computers. The time it was logged in and the time it was logged out and the amount of money collected from this uh, Computer. Actually, you have also a total amount collected here, which is three pesos. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. One, two, three, four. That is one peso. Then you have here one, two, that is three pesos. So you collected three pesos, which is also being shown in here. Okay. Now, guys, what, what next is to show you the uh, program or the code for this one. Actually, I have used a very simple one here. So let me show you my code. Okay, I hope you are seeing now my. Now, uh, actually, what I I have done here is to add a, a new control here. Okay, now let me just close this out. So uh, let me close this. What is this? Okay. Now, so I just added in my main form two list box, okay? So these are just list box, okay? Then my code is, let me show you my code, okay? So the code, uh, let me, can you share? Is it being shown here? I hope you are seeing my, okay, share. Okay, so this is the code, okay? Now, so let me, Close this again. Actually, I can open that by clicking here. Okay. So this is my just a minute. Okay. Now uh, let me show you here. So when I log it in, okay. So what I did here is try to create a sub procedure. Okay. So first I tried to let me go to the top of this code window. Okay, so I did what I did here. I just try to create these uh, variables uh, class level. Okay, so LP L log in PC hour, log in PC minute, then log out PC hour, log out PC minute, then PC amount to pay, which are all a uh, single data type. Okay, now I have created here. I have created here a subdirectory. This is public sub list history. So actually, this list history is for my uh, login time. Okay. Now uh, here, uh, I'm using here one uh, argument or parameter. Uh, so when you call this, uh, when they call or when this sub procedure is being called, now you have to pass one argument here or one value or one single data type value. Okay. So I'm using here another, uh, I am using here a select case control structure, okay? So let's say I receive a value from the calling event procedure one, then I will say this will be the uh, login 
LIPC hour and LIPC minute. So I will be using the variable wherein the uh, wherein the login time for PC1 is being assigned. Okay. So if it is two, so this will be the uh, login PC hour and login PC minute. Likewise, three, four, five. Okay. Then uh, I will be uh, adding the item in my list box, list is through items that add computer. Okay, actually this this ampersand sign is just for concatenation, okay? So I will be adding computer, then I'm getting the computer number or the argument being passed to this procedure. Then I'm going to display it or concatenate it with this computer text. Then, and then concatenate this text login time. Then again, concatenate the uh variable which we are putting the login hour and login minute like this one okay then uh, again another uh, sub procedure was created for the logout hour but this time it has the same okay wait i think i have some problem i need to remove this one ah, okay the, the, the program is running okay so I cannot edit it again. Okay. Now, uh, so for the log out, so I created another sub uh, procedure list, LOH history. Again, I'm be needing one argument or parameter, the same computer number. That is the number that will be passed to this uh, procedure when they call it, that number will be the uh, PC number wherein they will click the login or uh, the logout out the logout button. Okay, so case one that will be the logout PCH hour. Okay, so uh, the same approach what we have done in login history. Okay, then the same approach also here, but this time we are uh, adding the amount collected in that computer number. Okay. So here we are saying here, well, okay. Now actually those are the uh, objects or the controls here, okay. So let me go back to the code. Okay, wait a minute. I like this. I think there's some problem with my mouse, okay. Now anyway, I already explained. So again, let me reiterate. I have created some variables or declare these variables. Then create this uh, sub procedure wherein I have I am requiring by val I am requiring one uh, number or one parameter which is a single data type. Okay, so the calling uh, procedure will have to provide one value. Let's say computer one, then you will uh, give or pass one. In when they call this uh, sub procedure, okay. Now let me show you, okay. Let me show you the. Let me close this one. So let me show you this log in here, okay. As you can see here, I'm calling the sub procedure. Then I am providing one. I said let uh, list history open parenthesis one. So this is the argument that I'm passing to the sub procedure. But actually, I have here comp is a comp number, I guess. No, I think in uh, let, let me go to login number two. Okay. So, okay. So the same thing I'm using two because I'm coming from computer two. Now I think I have different approach in logout. So let me check the logout. Okay. Now I'm, I'm using here a variable declared at the class level. Then I'm putting a value there. Then that one I'll be using. Uh, okay. The same procedure. Okay. Because I can use that one. Let me show you. Okay, this one. Well, in computer number two, I use this variable. So I'm going to use the variable here, which having the value of two. Or you can say just pass two number here or the variable. It's the same thing. Okay. So once again, let me run. Let me run the application. Okay. Then new share. So let me show you again, log in, log in, log in, log in, log in, okay. So it's all recorded in this history or in this log, 
then if it will be lagged out, it will be also recorded here plus the amount of money collected. In this way, this is a very good, uh, like a paper trail, okay? So I want to shout out to this guy. Actually, is uh, uh, Harvey Trellis. Shout out to Harvey Trellis, who, who all uh, who suggested this uh, approach, okay? So again, uh, thank you for this uh, uh, comment because for me, this is a good uh, approach also. So 55, so let's just wait for several seconds. Then, okay, then let me lag out, lag out, lag out, lag out. Now it's up to you if you want to add more information here, maybe you will add the current usage there, okay? So again, thank you for joining me in this uh, very simple application for computer usage monitoring system. Okay, if you are new to this channel, please let me promote it by subscribing. You can also click the notification bell for the next uh, video or the part 14 of this uh, series video tutorial. You can also subscribe, you can... <coughs> Put your comments and once again before i will end this thank you very much i do hope i've given you some idea especially those engineering graduates who have a very less uh, or maybe they only have one computer subjects during their college days just like me way back 1985 so again thank you for joining me before we will end god bless us all let's all be safe and bye for now Goodbye.